What do you do if you're wrongfully accused of a particular action that you either did or did not have any part of as a contractor? Now, someone just asked this question to me recently, and I thought it would make a good video. And again, this thing could take off in a variety of different directions. Um, but if you're, th if you're talking about being wrongfully accused for stealing something that you didn't steal, and of course, I've been here before, you know, you go into someone's, you're working on their house and they come in, they're looking for something. And then they, you know, hey, uh, did you see this necklace? I left it laying on the counter here. And you're like, no, I didn't. Or if you did, you point out, yeah, I seen it, you know, two days ago or whatever. But uh, it doesn't take long. You're not going to, you know, pretty soon you're going to start to feel some negative vibes from these people and... Uh, they might just come right out and say, you know what, we think you stole it. And of course, they find the necklace a few days later and apologize. And of course, some people don't even jump the gun. You know, they're not even going to blame it. You know, they think, you know what, wait a minute, I've misplaced items before. I probably misplaced this item uh, again. And to give you a better idea, um, my mother-in-law, I think it was two years ago at Thanksgiving, blamed someone for taking a ring. And she goes, this ring, it's, you know, I lost it here. You know, it wasn't, you know, and realistically, she didn't just come around and say she lost it. Someone took it. Um, and uh, so last night she was just talking to my wife and she said that, you know what? I found that ring. I can't believe I, I'm going to have to apologize to the person. Well, my wife was smart enough to say, hey, um, don't blame him for this. Um, you know, don't even mention it to them because I think you would have, you know, you got a better chance of, of losing it than the other person taking it. And so when she told her, her mom last night that uh, she never even blamed the person, never even mentioned the person, she was relieved. And again, we all run into situations like this where someone's going to make an accusation um, against us. And of course, sometimes they are painful. Someone calls you a name, um, tell, says that you did something you didn't do or um, didn't do something you said you were going to do, then realistically, um, you kind of kind of have to deal with this situations, each situation as they occur differently. Now, if there's anything you could do to possibly write this down on a piece of paper, you know, um, let's just say that you agreed to something. Yeah, I'll fix that faucet for $50. You know, don't worry about it. And then you go to hand your bill in and there's, whoa, we're not paying for this. Or they say, wait a minute, we didn't agree to $50. It was $10 or $5. This is your, your, you're a liar, you're a cheat. Then, of course, if it's in writing, you're not going to have to deal with this. But if it isn't in writing, it's verbal, of course, now you're just creating more opportunities for more problems. And, of course, you are going to have more problems when you work on homes that have more possessions in them, larger homes. And of course, you are gonna run into more problems when you work for people who actually have mental problems. So the more problems people have that you're going to be dealing with and uh, the people who have more possessions, things that could break, um, of course, this just adds fuel to the fire. So again, if that's what you were asking, you know, how do you avoid getting um, accused for things? Forget it. You are going to get accused for things. Um, however, you can reduce these things um, to a certain point if you have everything in writing. And again, a checklist wouldn't be a bad idea either. If you have a few concerns about people, you know, um, you know let's just say you got a, a checklist you made up over the years of problems you've already had. And of course, this is the biggest concern I have with business people, including contractors, is you don't want to run into the same problem over and over again. You know, hey, God, I keep having the same problem. I keep, God, I can't, you know, hey, if it can be fixed, fix it. If it can't, uh, then realistically, try and figure out another business to get into. You know, you do not want to be dealing with the same problems over and over again. So I hope that helps. Um, some of these things hurt, people say. Some of them um, are justifiable. Some of them, realistically, you can see um, the reasons why they're saying them. You know, someone lost a necklace and they're going to, 
you know, honestly, you're the only person in the house. This doesn't look good, you know, even though you didn't take it. And of course, you will need to deal with those um, in a peaceful manner. If you have to meditate for a few hours, go to your truck, calm down, then come back in the house, do it. Because the last thing you want to do is make an accusation. Um, after they've made one. So they tell you you stole their thing and then you tell them, no, I'm not a thief, you know. Yeah, this might not, you know. You raise your voice, they raise their voice, and pretty soon you're not working there anymore and you got a lawsuit against you. So that isn't going to be a good position to be in either. Okay, this video is long enough. Sometimes I go a little long-winded, um, deal with it. And again, don't forget, you can turn these videos off at any time too. So... Uh, again, and contractors out there, you got any advice for someone who makes wrongful accusations um, or, or a story you might want to share with people, um, let us know. We'd love to hear. And everyone out there should be willing to learn um, or whatever. Huh? What the heck?